Hey guys, how's it going? Kelsey here, this is our video, and in this video, I'm bringing you guys another uh, Maya tutorial here, and um, in Autodesk Maya 2016, and uh, yeah, so here we go. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to basically like rig objects to the character. Now, this is very easy, very simple. Um, it doesn't take a lot of, you know, work at all. It's just very, just like, you know, drag and drop this to that, and like, and, and like the outliner and everything. It's very simple. But in case, you know, you wanted, like, like your person, like, your Minecraft character, or, like, any other kind of, you know, character, really, to have, um, you know, that that's rigged to have, like, a, an object, you know, assigned to them, like, the helmet that I have right, right here, or, you know, just, like, the sword to the hand, um, this tutorial is going to show you guys, you know, how to do it. So, first of all, I have Troy here and everything, and, um, yeah, I just get there. And, um, and, and actually, to be honest, yeah, these two items, like the iron sword and this customly made model, my, like, yeah, I modeled it, um, iron helmet, uh, are all actually in the fourth dimension. So, yeah, you, you'll, you'll see this in there, uh, you know, in the series. So, pretty cool. Every, every like, tutorial, I'll give you guys, like, a little bit of the actual, you know, shows, which is pretty cool. Brings in, like, the hype. So, yeah, um, but first of all, let's just go with the helmet first just to get you know things easy so um, I modeled it and I mean I kind of made it so that you know it kind of like fit you know his head sort of thing so it's Minecraft it's obviously like a block like a cube thing but you know we always want um, you know it to fit so I want it to look good on him you know everything and um, you know it's probably, you know be good so um, obviously I got the you know the move and uh, you know move controls. You got the rotate. We we won't use the rotate at all in here because it's like cube. You know we wouldn't really do that. And then the R for scaling. Um, so right here we just kind of want it to look kind of natural. So let's kind of scale it up just a little bit. The top part will be a little bit higher. So let's just kind of <coughs> put this a little bit higher right there and kind of center it so that kind of like on his nose a little bit. It's pretty good right there. Yep. And then it kind of looks like it's really wide, like there's a really big like wide space here. So let's just kind of, without like squishing too much, because if you do it too much, then, you know, the side of his face will show. So probably about like right about, eh, like there, around there, maybe, I don't know. And then um, right here, so this is like a good um, thing, but we've got these really long, you know, parts here. I can just, you know, right click, drag down to face, and there's also edge, vertex, you do all, all sorts of stuff. Even like assigning the materials, this whole thing just you know you hold like you just you right click, drag, and then this is what you get. Um, so I'm gonna go to face here. I'm just gonna um, you know tap the bottom faces. Like you, you can also hold tab to just you know drag select kind of thing. And um, you know yeah, so that's that. And then press W to move them up. And then oh, that seems pretty good. Yeah. So um, but here's the thing though. Once you go to the head control right here, once you move it. The head moves, but not the actual helmet. So, on this particular rig that I'm using, and I think most, you know, um, other rigs do have this too. But you go to, you want to go to rig for. I don't, I don't always like cubes and everything right here, but there are just like other stuff. I don't know. But this is rig four. If you get this rig um, from Mama's Boy, actually, his channel is Mama's Boy, and then he, I'll, I'll probably put the um, in the, uh, uh, you know, his like his YouTube channel in the, in the description below. Um, you guys want to go check this rig out, and then um, master control here. And it, it, you'll see this like squiggly line, like squiggly line kind of like this blue liner here, right? And that, and that is actually like the like the nerves kind of nerves is like the um, it's like the outline, like kind of outlining all of the control joints. You know, like okay, this is like the little nerves curve, and this you know controls that and everything. So I'm gonna go there, and then you want to just select the head control, and then it'll kind of, you know, highlight, bam, there it is, right there. So basically, you want to select this, you want to go down to where it says that, right? And then, wow, this is actually a lot of stuff. So I'm probably going to speed it up here. Uh, okay, so here we are at the very top. Um, <coughs> so we're just going to drag that and, um, right, right like, so as you see, there's one line here which will actually make it in between here, or if it's like one whole box around it, it will go in it. So once you do that, it is actually in the head control. Once you go in the head control, it'll select all of it with actually, you know, with the helmet with it. So then you can move it 
with you know the head control and everything so um, very good for an anime something and like the dude's like looking around and it's just like locked to his head which is pretty cool um so yeah so let, now let's do this sword now let's put that in his right hand um you know left there but yeah right here so um yeah so there you go so basically the whole the only problem is and like he and like the creator kind of you know designed it like this is that this right here actually links to a um, like a voxel kind of thing so it's like a it's like you know an, like an invisible pixel kind of you know slot so i think it could put like some sort of sword in there but um you know like that's just for like customly made um transparent background like you know food like you know cookies or cake you know kind of like, built, like those objects in in the game and he has like those textures that fit along with that but um the only thing i have to sacrifice is this control here so if we try to even put this sword in this um you know in, in like this kind of control it will just disappear you won't find this anywhere i don't know why it happens really but it just i mean i'll, I'll even show you guys right now it, it it's really a butt boom so Okay, so it actually does not disappear, sorry about that guys, but it just, it doesn't actually rotate with the arm though, so, again, if you wanted to, you know, do something like that, I mean, I don't know, yeah, so it doesn't really disappear, I thought it did, but I guess it does, I don't know, it might, it might have been like another, another rig that I tried out, but, um, yeah, but it just does, it doesn't rotate with it, right, so, basically we're just going to go in here, and just drag that out, and put it just in, in the bottom here, and then, um, yeah, and then, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the top uh, part here, and this is, again, for this particular rig, this is IK Influence here in the channel box layer, um, so we're going to set that to zero, and that'll just change this to an FK, um, I think, yeah, FK, yeah, um, uh, like, you know, rig joint, so basically instead of this, which is like one whole control, it is like out, then this one goes in, you know like you have to do it like two times separately right so basically we're just gonna do that and uh yeah so we're going to arm group go to fk right and then you're going to keep on going down to get the very last one this is the elbow right there and then select your sword right here and then we're going to um middle mouse button yeah, yeah if i didn't mention that yeah so if, if you left click down that like yeah, left, left click and drag it, then you just select it like select stuff but then you want to do middle mouse button and then just put that you know right up there and then um you're gonna select the just a regular control and there you go now yes it does you know rotate with the arm but what we really want to see is obviously you know does this move and yes it does obviously so there you go um this is actually how i'm going to animate the fighting scene in the final scene which i'm actually doing really soon depending on when you're watching this i might be already animating it but um this is kind of like the the style that i'm going to use just like the you know like the, like the two-part kind of you know um you know rig here at which controls everything here so that's just that you know that's just the way it's gonna look and oh uh, yeah so that's pretty much it um i'm, I'm actually going to try to also rig a um probably like a chest armor like to his like to his chest here i don't like his, his like body movement but um then that's like also here because this controls like the bending over so i'm not quite sure how it's gonna work or if i just have to get like a whole new skin like extrude it somehow or something like that but um yeah but i'm telling you he's gonna have some more armor here as like a little bit of hint for the ending giving you guys some you know interesting hints and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching really hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like if this helps you out and um it please leave um you know please leave a comment down below if you guys want me to go over like how to get um, Autodesk Maya 2016. I'll show you guys like the Autodesk, you know, whole website and like how to do it. Um, all you need is a student account. Like, I mean, yes, it does cost money, like I don't know, two, three thousand dollars. But no, don't worry, it doesn't actually cost that. I mean, you can get a student version completely free, just put like your school and everything, and then um, you know, you just it'll you know grant you the access to the download for Maya, and then you can just get that all for free. But and then um, yeah, but uh, other than that, but yeah, so. Um, did forget to mention this actually it's really long i don't know whoa wait whoa 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 so yeah i don't know but um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching 
definitely go, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below if you have any other questions about, you know, Maya or just any CG stuff, like CG, like computer graphic stuff, or anything um, related to Maya. I might do some rendering um, settings too soon. Um, but uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you have any questions, and uh, subscribe for more tutorials like this one. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.